Welcome back to the Empress Kina show. This is the fourth installment of spiritual warfare I just want to say that the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy and I'm only speaking from a Christianity perspective Because that's how I grew up. We call the enemy the devil the negative entity the dark vibration That is fear deception all of those low vibrational energies Yeah, that's the enemy and a lot of the times the enemy will come and try to take your heart a lot of us have experienced heartbreak Sometimes people just don't know how to heal from that. So this video is really all about showing you steps on how to heal from a heartbreak first step in healing from a heartbreak is acknowledging it don't try to run away from your feelings don't try to act like you don't care don't be like i don't really care fuck him fuck her that's not it don't pretend like you ain't hurt it's okay to be hurt and don't be so prideful to admit that you hurt you have to acknowledge it so that you can start to accept it so eventually you can start to heal and move forward and acknowledging it that might mean crying kicking screaming going to the gun range and shooting a few rounds or going to one of them smash places where you can smash walls i think they call rage rooms or whatever that case may be. It's a lot of people that gotta get their rage out. Whatever it is that you're feeling, let it out and embrace it. Sit with it. Don't dwell in it too long. Don't be sitting down and not going to work for a month straight because your heart broke. You gotta get up and keep it moving at some point. But at the end of the day, take time to acknowledge how you feel and just sit with those emotions and be with those emotions. The second step comes after you've acknowledged it and now you can start to accept it for what it is. You've acknowledged how you felt. Now you can accept, okay, that hurt, but I'm gonna be okay. Now you can start to move forward because really Realize, okay, I'ma still be good. I'ma still move forward. Meditate, release it, begin to live life again. A good way, like a good exercise, would be to write a letter. Maybe not necessarily mail it to that person, because I don't know how it might have ended. That may not be the best thing, but writing a letter to that person as if you were gonna mail it and then burning it to release it. And doing that underneath um, the full moon, that's a good way to do it too, because the, the full moon is about releasing. Do your best not to look back. A lot of problems with people with relationships, they go back. And I'm guilty of that too. You wanna try it again, see if it'll Word. People, I feel like getting these cycles where they go back and forth over and over again, back and forth, back and forth. We get into a fight, we get back together, we fight, we get back together. Those are very toxic cycles. It's easier said than done, but try to avoid that as best as possible because you'll find yourself 10, 15 years deep with somebody and maybe got some children, maybe y'all marry, whatever the case may be, when y'all could have let that go a long time ago and been happy and moved on with somebody that was more suited for you. The third step is honestly to me the most important step, and a lot of people skip this step. Take time for yourself, take time to sit and reflect ask yourself why did I stay in this situation how did I get in this situation more importantly what did I learn from this situation you can't do that if you rush right into another relationship with somebody y'all was walking with each other for a minute that don't work out now you don't know what to do with your time because you just so used to having somebody to talk to somebody to kick it with somebody to have sex with somebody to love on cuddle with so then you gonna find somebody else to rebound with. and there's this thing going around in pop culture right now where it's like oh the best way to get over your last guy is to get under a new one stop following that trend y'all that is not cool that is not p that is not player at all that is not it if you can't be by yourself that's the problem you're never gonna be able to have a successful relationship if you can't even be by yourself if you don't know how to be by yourself you're gonna always constantly look for somebody else to fulfill you in ways that you gotta feel within yourself and a lot of people don't realize they're codependent because they're constantly in a relationship they don't take time to just be by themselves they jump from one guy to the next or one girl to the next they line just can't be dry i've been, been in love three times i'll get into that in the next video but I was single for five years I'm not gonna say I wasn't talking to nobody but honestly I only really talked to one person seriously out of all those five years everybody else they wasn't really serious and I went a lot of times with my line dry nobody talking to me nobody checking for me and I'm okay with that because I found other ways to occupy my time I spent more time with my friends I spent more time with my family I traveled I would rather be by myself than be in a situation where I'm settled and I think some people get so caught up in just having somebody that they settle for things that they don't really want or they settle for things because they're afraid to be alone you never know like i said i was single for five years so every year i was like damn i still ain't got no man but it's like it's okay if you're not focused on that and you really don't even notice like, i honestly didn't even notice five years had went past until i started dating somebody seriously again and i was like dang it's been a minute if you don't know how to be by yourself you're going to always be codependent on somebody you're gonna start to settle because you don't feel like you can walk away from something you want to be able to sit by yourself so when you do try again with love and it don't work out you're not just gonna sit and continue to be in a cycle full of something that's not serving but that brings me to my last and final step which is to get back out there after you've done your healing and you sat with yourself you reflected you figured out where you went wrong you learned from it you've acknowledged your pain you've accepted it now just get back out there don't wait too long but don't jump too fast don't just jump to the next person
person like you break up with your boyfriend you've been with for 10 years and now you're talking to somebody next week that's that's weird that you're not doing your healing you're not helping yourself you're actually creating another cycle because you're gonna bring all of that baggage from that last relationship to the next one. i guarantee you it won't work out because you didn't do your healing i guarantee you it won't work out you want to be able to be vulnerable again and not just with anybody but don't be so afraid okay i got my heart broken now i'm just not gonna trust dudes now i'm just not gonna trust women now i'm gonna just be single for the rest of my life don't be afraid of it you know what i'm saying you got through it and if it was to happen again you would get through it again that's the game of life baby you ain't gonna know if when you try this out if it's gonna work out you just gotta try it anyway i say that with a grain of salt don't just go jump into something that look like a red flag if it's a red flag from jump that's probably not it you know sometimes you get in situations and you don't think it's gonna be serious because you looking at it like this probably ain't gonna be nothing and then it end up being something you never know be open to getting back out there and don't be afraid to get hurt again because sometimes it's inevitable you might end up being with this person for three years and y'all go y'all separate ways eventually but it still was meant for you to have that experience but if you so worried about getting hurt or things not working out you might miss your blessing you might miss an experience that you were meant to have that concludes our fourth installment so stay tuned for part five how to know it's real love